This week in our interview of the week, we're going to continue our series of talking to other YouTubers and other bloggers who are out there covering the RV lifestyle. And I'm really excited to bring on as our special guest this week, you know him as Traveling Robert. Now you get to know more about him and how that all came about. Time now for the RV Podcast Interview of the Week. Interesting, entertaining, and helpful information about the RV lifestyle. Here's Mike with this week's interview. So, Traveling Robert, yes. welcome to the uh, podcast. This is fun. Uh, we see each other at all these shows around the country, mm -hmm. and it's fun to sit you down and actually talk to you a little bit. Yeah, it's it's great. It's great to finally talk to you. I mean, I mean I've, I've been following you for many years, Well, and, uh, and it's great to finally sit down and, 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 and speak to each other. Let's... Uh, Introduce yourself a little bit. We, we, many of our people have watched Free to Be in My RV, you know, Living the RV Dream. But let's talk about, um, it, it give us a little background about you and how you started doing this. How long you've been doing this? Well, I've been, I've, I've been doing it as, as a hobby all my life, really. And I, I, I did go to college for, for TV production, although I never actually worked in the industry, as you did. But I, I always had a passion for for telling stories through video, you know, so some people write, some people do different things, still photography. I always liked the, the, the idea of telling stories through video and um, I was always into travel. You know, I was born in, in Cuba, communist island, so we, we, didn't, we didn't get a chance to travel when I was, we traveled within the confines of the island, but we, ne we could never get out and once we got out, We've, we've tried to see as much as possible. Uh, how old were you when you left? Cuba? I was 16 years old. 16? I lived for one year in Spain and then came to the United States. And, and uh, what do you travel in? Tell us uh, about your, uh, your tour. Well, this is uh, um, about five years ago. Uh, actually, a little more actually. To know time, time is, is yeah. strange. You know, it's, uh, time flies when you're having fun and we definitely have. I have a Wanabego Micro Mini. It's a small travel trailer, 17 footer. Uh, 19 footer actually uh, the outside and um, um, at the time it w the, the, the premise was that it would fit in my driveway and that I could sort of tow it with the current vehicle that I had and um, and it was one of, it was almost an impulse buy one once we stepped in, inside we said mm, this is this feels right and uh, Tell, we how it. often uh, do you travel you, you are not a full timer but no. you travel probably like us about uh, half three quarters of the time mm, and lately yes when I when I still had a nine to five job well we were weekenders yeah. and living in South Florida that, that kind of limits our options because we're kind of far away from everything except the keys so I made a lot of videos uh, about the Florida keys and, and people seem to like that a lot at the Miami beginning. Miami is your hometown? Miami is my hometown, yes. Now, uh, do you and, uh, travel alone? Do you have family? Who do you well, travel? yeah, unfortunately my wife still has that 9 to 5, so she's not able to travel with me all the time. But like, in order for me to be able to, to do like a cross-country road trip, which was my dream for, for of a lifetime, you know, that's what I, what I did. I drove and then she, I, she flew to Phoenix, like halfway, and then we continued together. And that's how we've been doing it for the past two and a half years that I've been doing YouTube full time. And, uh, and eventually the goal is for, to, to travel, not full time, I don't think we're, we're ever going to be completely full time because we like the idea of having a small, a small uh, vehicle. And a base but, to come uh, home to. Part time, yeah. yeah. And, and in, you've been out doing the videos for two and a half years. How many states have you been in? Have you counted them all? Uh, yeah, I'm still missing Vermont and North Dakota. That's it? Yeah. I mean. I have, you know, like everybody has a different rule about the states. Yeah. You know, I've driven through New Hampshire, I've driven through Connecticut, but I don't really, you know, I, should I count them or should sure I not count, count them? them? Check them off. And, look, and Hawaii, I'm waiting for them to build the bridge, but yeah. that <laughs> might take a while. <laughs> what do you like about the road? What is it about the road that's it, so exciting? It's, it's, the, it's the, the way it changed uh, our traveling style because before we used to fly cross country, go to a destination and see that destination, fly back to Miami and never see what, whatever was in between. And it, 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 when you travel in an RV, for me, it becomes more about the journey than the destination and being able to stop anywhere on a whim sometimes. And um, you have your own bathroom and your own kitchen back there, you know, you can do whatever. And, uh, and it gives you a, a certain freedom that, that you don't have when you need to go to a hotel and pack and unpack and that now, kind of thing. Tell everybody about your channel and uh, your video channel and then I want to talk about uh, 
the podcast and how that came about. Yeah. Well, my channel is Traveling Robert. It's a name that came. Uh, actually, it's a, it's a funny story because I used to be my. I used. I'm also a musician. My uh, my 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 musician name used to be Robertico. So I uh, the, the which is in Spanish is like Bobby. Uh -huh. Let's say it. And uh, my first channel actually was traveling with Robert Tico, and that kind of didn't didn't roll off the tongue too well. I even played around with Road Nomad for a while. That didn't work out, but they just decided to call it Traveling Robert. And I I started that channel nine years ago, and uh, it's been growing. At the beginning, it was obviously a, a hobby, but then about five years ago, it started you know to take off. I started I, I, the community was the most important thing. People started commenting and and giving that positive feedback and and how my videos were actually making a difference in their lives and. Uh, and, and besides the, the monetary uh, incentive, that was one of the reasons that, that I decided to, to give it my 100%. And, uh, what and has, has amazed me, and you see it particularly at shows like this where uh, all of our followers are here, but uh, what has amazed me uh, is how many people are now trying to do what you do, what we mm -hmm. do. And, yeah, and others. I mean, when we first started, there weren't very many. Yeah, no, it's it's blowing up. I see so many people with with cameras yeah. and, uh, and, and vlogging, and uh, and it's a know. wide open space. There's plenty yeah. of room, right? The, the thing is, we, we, and that's what. Well, if I can segue into that, that was one of my original mistakes. I was doing travel in general. I know you have to find find that small niche. Some yeah. people are full timers. We are uh, part timers. Uh, for example, you have to narrow it down because. Uh, it, it's not like uh, back in the 70s when you had three channels, you know, now there's uh, thousands of channels and you have to find that person that resonates with the message uh, that, that you're Tell saying. Tell us about your niche and how you have picked it up. You said you tried to be too wide, too broad, too general, uh, just traveling. What What is it now? At the beginning, I, uh, now my niche, and I, and I played with many things until I narrow it down. I want to tell the story. I want to I wanna make the viewer feel like they are traveling with me. So I, I, I do it 99% of the time chronological. I don't try to do like top 10. You know, those are different genres. I, sometimes I will do a how-to, but that's not my thing because I'm not really an expert at anything. So I just... It's like there, uh, when I watch your channel, I, I would describe it as, as if I'm walking right alongside of you yeah. or driving with you. And you, you know, I, I consciously or unconsciously, sometimes I, I, I always speak in present tense, even, I, even when I'm doing voiceover. Uh, I, I always say we instead of I because it's us. It's, it's you, and, you and I. We, we are the ones traveling together. Now uh, show everybody what you shoot this your stuff on. Uh, well, this is this is my my go-to camera when I'm in, in a tight space, like inside an RV. And actually, yeah. this this camera also I have a, I put it on on top of the trailer on the roof. For those, so, so for I get those, that bird's eye view. For this those just a, listening to the the podcast version of this, he's showing this. Uh, it looked like a GoPro. It's, it's a, a GoPro, GoPro Hero Seven. It's in a, in a special case that allows me to have the wireless microphone. Yep. And uh, and that you know, normally I, I don't take care of uh, uh, um, uh, live audio as much because I do a lot of voiceover. But in places like this, where I'm, I'm, I'm shooting video, I'm talking to the camera and I'm showing people the RVs. It's yeah. it, this works out much better, and it's is. So, so we know the traveling Robert uh, YouTube channel. This now. is my main camera, by the there way. For go. those of you, I, I use a, a high-end camcorder, 4K, and uh, because I like to be able to zoom in, have a controlled zoom in and yeah. out, and, and be able to, to have, to a, have different shots. But it's amazing for everybody to see this, just how compact everything. I, Mike, I like to keep it simple. Yeah. I like to because also I'm I'm, I'm kind of lazy. I, I don't I don't like to be carrying around many cameras, many microphones. Those huge, uh, yeah, you know, uh, gimbal sticks. Yeah, uh, just GoPro and, and this one, and, and that's it. I agree with you. I'm the same way. Uh, although I do like the technology. Now I we, we know about uh, traveling Robert the YouTube channel, but tell us about the podcast, uh, the uh, the Living the RV yeah. podcast. Living now, the I know RV. that name. Yes. When we we're starting our ninth year in March, and when we started our our podcast, and about about the we, that's been five years for that, there was only one other podcast on. It's, a, it's John and Kathy Hoggins, and I learned Huggins, most of awesome what I know from them, and then of course then from you, from all the all the other. Now how, now how there are many you, podcasts, but that, that was the first one. And, and uh, when I was doing my initial research, that's but when, that's. But the when the Huggins retired. You were able to take yeah. over the podcast. One, How did one, that happen? One day I get an email from John. I mean, he, and you know, Kathy yes. got yes. sick, so they, she they, got very ill. Yeah, yeah they, they they had to 
give up the, the full-time lifestyle. So it, it became evident to them that they were not going to be able to continue with the, with the podcast giving the, the, the same content. And one day I got an email from John, and I'm like, oh, Giddy, you know, oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, well, he was, he was the only Because to, to me, it was, a, it, it was a great honor and um, a very big shoes to fill, to be honest about it. And, yeah. uh, and of course, my, my version of the podcast is, is kind of a different approach yeah. to, to the lifestyle. I'm not a full-timer. I'm, I'm not a big rig person. Um, I do it by myself, no, not, yeah. not as a couple. But... Um, but yeah, and then one day I, I, I came to visit him uh, here in, in near Sarasota, where, where they, they live now, and uh, and we spent the whole afternoon, you know, talking. And he told me how, how to do it. I kind of I kind of had an idea how to do the, the podcast, but we got everything set up. And uh, well, they were a big help to us when we started because mm -hmm. uh, they were the only other ones. Yeah, and we were the uh, only they're, couple. They're doing it. Such nice. Uh, and I couple. remember they they showed me their equipment, told me their equipment. We got the same portable studio now because everything's changed mm -hmm. now yeah. with the technology. But uh, it uh, th they have a real legacy, and the fact that they chose you to carry on their yeah. podcast says a lot about yeah. traveling Robert. I think that they. I, I went to one of their rallies, and they saw the video that I produced about their rally, and yeah. I think they liked the my style and uh, yeah and my audio quality or the, you know yep so it's, well, that's uh, it's it's awesome so the podcast that uh, when is that released do you do it every week i do it i i, I follow exactly the same schedule well this week it's, it's a strange week because i'm at the at the rv show but usually it's friday at 6 a.m eastern yeah that's when the episodes go and uh, we, we will put links to all this in the description below the video and in the show notes mm -hmm. for for the yeah. podcast as and well. now i also took over the living the rv dream website by the way oh did which you is, uh, which is uh, you know has so much information Mo most of it d done by the huggins uh, over the years and, I, and I'm going to continue updating that website as well. well the, uh, and how are the Huggins, by the way? Have you talked to the Huggins? I, I have spoken to them recently, and they're doing great. They're, great. They're, they were going to be here at the show tomorrow, but unfortunately, I don't think they're going to be able to make it. But uh, Kathy is doing great health-wise. and So many of the uh, uh, long-time RVers uh, will, will certainly remember them. And, yeah, and that's good. of course. So um, I want to just uh, kind of wrap this up by having you give a little advice to all those people who want to go out and, and do this as well and be you know whether it's a youtube channel or a podcast like mm -hmm. we do so many now i mean we can't even count them we meet yeah. five or six every day at this uh, at the show where we're recording this um i don't think a lot of people realize how much work is involved why don't you mm -hmm. talk about that a little bit yes it well, isn't just traveling and then uh, they don't magically yeah. appear right? yeah that, yeah the, the, the editing is specifically is what takes the the longest but also you have to plan ahead you have to do your research before and after and uh, it's it's a lot of work you really have to like what you're doing yeah. and that's what happened to me because i was uh, previously in a job that i wasn't very it wasn't a bad job but i wasn't very good at it and i didn't like it all that much and i always had this passion for video for uh, since I was a child, since before I had the possibility of owning a camcorder, so um, do do what you love, and you, you don't ha and don't do it because everybody else is doing it. Uh, just do find your niche, and maybe you want to write a vlog, maybe a blog, maybe. You, but if if your passion is video, de definitely I would go for it. Consistency and do the best job you can. We have been absolutely so stunned at the impact that YouTube and these kinds of videos that we're doing, that you're doing, that other, other influencers are doing, how many people have come up to us and told us that they have quit watching network yeah. TV yeah, or yeah, cable yeah. news mm -hmm. and, and uh, they, watch, they, they watch everything on YouTube. Yeah. Have you experienced that? And if so, um, why do you think that is? Why has YouTube caught on so much in these kind of videos? Well, doing? I think it narrows down to, you, you can narrow it down to a, a, exactly what, what you want to see, you know. I mean, we, we still watch network TV, we watch particularly like drama, like well-produced uh, drama. Yeah. But other than that, um, I don't know, I, I, I also find a lot of the content on YouTube uh, more compelling. And we live in a, in a great age, I mean, for, for a veteran of the media like, like you are, it's, uh, I, I could right now pull out my phone and do a, a live video. Yeah. A live stream with relatively decent quality and uh, million, all kinds of people from all over the world can watch. And, uh, and it has and opened the doors to everybody. To everybody, share yes. Their lives. Everybody the can have their own voice. To teach, to, to uh, inform. Teaching too. I mean, whenever yeah. I need to find out like how to do something, I just 
you, you search it on YouTube and yeah. someone has a, 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 a tutorial video on how to do it. I, I, I didn't ask you, I know at the very beginning we talked about you being a musician, uh, but the music in your free to be in my uh, free in my RV. Yeah, that's you. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. You, you know what happened? I, 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 at the very beginning, I purchased some supposedly podcast safe music. Yeah. And uh, I got a, one of those copyright yeah. issues that I, my video didn't get pulled out, but it got demonetized. And I said, you know, I'm a musician. I can do this. Yeah. And the, my, my my theme song. I, 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 my viewers know this. I wrote it one day in the bathroom. I was in the bathroom right after one of those RV trips that I did in a rental RV because I didn't own an RV yet. And quickly, I recorded it on my phone because I did. And now it's an earworm, and so many people are. Every, whenever somebody sees me on the on the street, they, they, they sing the song back to me. They and, start to sing your song. And right now, I have a big catalog. You know, I have a, a, a theme song for when I fly the drone. I have kind of a theme song for the sunsets whenever it's. Uh, there's water involved, they have something else, you know, and yeah. I, I've been creating the larger and larger catalog whenever I feel inspired to, to, to compose something. Well, Traveling Robert, you are um, a happy man. And uh, make, yes. And you there, make a lot of people yeah. happy as you share your There's travels. There's only one thing, I wish I could travel with my wife all the time. But uh, well, when she, how much she? But, uh, but at some point, that, that, that that's the, the only the only thing that that sometimes it's uh, it's, it's uh, negative. But other than that, I'm my own boss. I'm doing I'm doing the, the job that I think I'm best at, and uh, what what I came to this world to do. And I'm I'm helping out so many people. And, and, and that's what they tell me. So it's uh, it's very rewarding. It's great. Well, thank you so much for uh, sitting down with us and uh, spending some time here uh, and getting to know Traveling Robert a little bit better. Yeah. Well, thank again, you, thank we'll you for having me. Up. It's great to talk to you guys again. All right, now you know Traveling Robert. We hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, would you do us a big favor? Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. When you do that, click the little icon, the little bell icon, and that way you'll be notified when new videos are online. I'm Mike Wellen with the Interview of the Week. Thanks for watching and happy trails.